Hey guys, welcome. I've been playing with this tool called Oddbreeder. Oddbreeder is based on an artificial intelligence program. And if you are a creative artist or a concept artist, then Oddbreeder is the place to be and you should definitely check it out. It is hard to imagine that all of these images have been created using this program. These haven't been created by a human uh, per se, but they have been created by combining different images. So click on the Create button. That'll take you to the uh, page that allows you to select a category. You can make portraits, you can make landscapes, and you can make buildings, you can make characters, and you can also make albums. Wow. Now that is something. So let's focus on making characters today. So click on that and uh, there are two things you can do. You can either compose or you can animate. We're gonna click on compose. The default page that we land on is populated by random images by Artbreeder. And um, I'm not sure what settings they use to create these, but they're just random that come up. Our um, process flow for creating or combining images is going to be selecting multiple uh, parents from this area, then editing uh, the genes and twiddling with those knobs. And then you go on to click on this purple button, which is refreshing the output from Art Breeder. Now let's select some images. I'm gonna search for an image that looks like Iron Man. Let's see. Well, it's given me only two images. Uh, let me try putting maybe a space between Iron and Man. Okay, cool. Let's select this one. Now, let's select another parent, perhaps a Viking. Yeah, let's see. Let's scroll through these and see which takes our fancy. Hmm. Yeah, I like this one. Cool. Now we have two parents. Let's um, not play with the genes yet. Let's click on the refresh button and see what we get. Well, nice, but we want something a little bit more complex. So what we're going to do is we can play around with these settings. I just changed the settings for armor. Now we have more armor on this man. And then maybe a little bit more. Yeah, yep. Yep, this is looking so much better. Let's reduce the chaos. Nice. Pretty cool. Okay, so we can further play around with all these knobs to uh, get an effect that is uh, satisfactory to us. And eventually when we are happy with the output image, we can actually save the image. The way to save the image is to click on the image, but remember, once you save the image, it goes to your public portfolio. And if you do not want others to view or download your images, you might want to consider uh, getting a subscription. Now click on the saved image and we can continue to play around with the look of this image by changing all these settings eventually at some point in time and hopefully we will be happy with one of these images. Now what can we do with this image? We can like it, we can add tags to it, we can even download it and we can check its lineage, we can delete it, and we can share it. I do want to point out that if you want to download more than a certain number of images, you might want to consider getting a subscription.
Let's look at the lineage of our character. These are all the images that went into the generation of our uh, character. So that's cool. Now let's go back to our character and save it. It's been a lot of fun playing with this tool. And these are some of the images that I've created in a very, very short time. I invite you to try it out. You will surely, surely enjoy it. It's a great place to find inspiration for all your art projects. As always, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.